What's up guys, welcome back to another Diablo 3 how-to guide. I'm going to be going over area damage in this video, and I'm going to try to explain it in the best way possible. Now, area damage is an attribute that can be found on weapons, offhands, rings, amulets, and shoulders. Every one of those slots, with the exception of weapons, can roll 20% and the um, weapons will roll 24%. All right, so area damage is actually measured in a percentage. And as you can see here on my character sheet, area damage is 50%. Now I have that from the Paragon Utility tab. You get 1% per point to a maximum of 50%. But you can also get area damage on shoulders, amulets, rings, weapons, and offhands. Every one of those slots, with the exception of weapons, will roll 20% while weapons will actually roll up to 24% area damage. The maximum possible area damage you can have on your character is 174%. Now, if you actually use the Demon Hide set that you can craft at the Blacksmith, it'll get you up to 199%. So you can definitely go past 100% area damage. And if you do that, ironically, the original target that takes damage will take less damage than the targets around them. And I'll explain kind of how that works. Whenever you cast a damage ability on a mob and you have area damage on your gear, you have a 20% chance to actually proc area damage to every target within 10 yards of that original target. Whatever your area damage percentage is in your character sheet is the amount of damage from the original attack that is applied to all of those guys. Every time that you, know, you proc area damage, every you know, mob in that 10 yard radius also has a chance, 20% chance to proc it again. So it's actually, you know, really nice, um, you know, kind of trash killing kind of, you know, thing, but it's actually, it doesn't work very well with single target. Actually, if you're fighting just like a Rift Guardian with no minions or no, you know, little guys running around him, you won't proc it at all, right? If there's no guys within 10 yards, then the area damage just won't proc. It's also an ability or a stat that's not going to show on your sheet DPS here because it's an effective DPS stat. And there's no animation when you actually, you know, it procs in a rift or, you know, when you're running around the world. You will notice if you turn on, you know, enemy health bars that you'll be able to, you know, hit a target and you guys around and you'll start seeing them take, you know, damage and all that stuff. So any build that's actually trying to kill trash or do anything, you know, in an AoE kind of sense, area damage is really nice to have. If you're going after like, if you're a, you know, after being like a rift guard killer or something where all your, your build is more single target, then I probably would stay away from it. I do actually like having area damage for, like, say, whirlwind, because when you're whirlwinding through stuff, you're already doing AoE damage. And then if you have a chance to proc area damage from whirlwind, you can kill things a lot quicker. And you don't have that necessarily, you know, whirlwind on top of guys, because, you know, if you get your area damage high enough, then you can just kind of, like, you know, waterfall all that damage down. I do say that if you're going to be using area damage, that you need you need to be over 50% for it to really be effective, because when you start actually putting area damage on your gear, you're going to be obviously replacing other offensive stats for it. So it's either kind of like an all or nothing kind of situation. You can get 50% from Paragon basically for free, and then you know that gets you started. At 50%, it's you know kind of a wash really. But if you really start stacking it on at least weapons and stuff like that, get it to at least probably 80% then you're actually going to be looking at quite a bit of damage. For instance, let's say that you hit a target for a, you know, 100 damage, and you, and you have a 20% chance to proc area damage to every target around the original target, then all those guys with 50% area damage, they're going to take 50 damage, all of them, in that little circle, that 10-yard circle, they're all going to take 50 damage. Now, if you go higher than 50%, then obviously they're going to take more of that 100% damage. If you go maximum all the way up to the 199% that I talked about earlier, then they're all the guys in the 10 yard radius, they're actually gonna take more damage than the original target. Because the original target took 100 damage, but now everybody in the 10 yard radius is taking 199% of that 100. It's kind of crazy, but if you if you go for it, then it's gonna be great. But don't just, you know, it's not one of those skills that you can just kind of, you know, put a little bit of, you know, effort into. You really gotta put a lot of stuff you know, a lot of uh, stats of area damage on your gear to make it worthwhile. Anyway, that's just kind of a really quick down and dirty on how area damage works. If you uh, have never used area damage before and you try it, let me know what your thoughts are. It's really fun and very useful, especially for speed farm builds. I use it on my Witch Doctor. You know, I use a Hell 2 Speed Chicken, right? So I stack area damage on there. My Gargantuan has a chance to proc it. All my zombie dogs have a chance to proc it and all that good stuff. But anyway, I appreciate you guys for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button. 
And if you want to see more Diablo 3 content, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time.